Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at how to create a cloth simulation uh, in Marvelous Design. So we will look at how to uh, how the Marvelous Design software works, how to uh, really quickly stitch a garment and add some wind to simulate the wind. And in the future classes, we will look at how to bring in an animated character, put on some clothes, and then export it back into uh, another 3D package like Blender or Maya or Max and put the character in an environment and animate the cloth simulation. All right, so let's see how this is done in Marvelous Design. So I'll close this one first and then if you uh, go online uh, and search for Marvelous Design, so actually Marvelous Designer, uh, what you need to do is if you go to Product Download, uh, click on the trial download. All right. Uh, this is the 30 day free trial, which uh, that is what I have downloaded. Or if you want to purchase, you can use this one. If you download this one, it's not going to work because it will ask you for a registration number, which you may not have. And then you will have to again download the software and then uh, use your user ID and password. Ma make sure that you remember the user ID and password because if uh, by for some reason the connection is lost you may have to sign in again to uh, use the software so we'll open marvelous designer and look at the interface and then we're going to uh, this is like an absolute beginner tutorial so we will see how everything works in marvelous designer so as soon as marvelous designer opens uh, by the way when you download you may get some uh, error notification just close that window and ignore that all right so you have these two viewports okay on the left and on the right left side is the simulation area and the right side is the design area so you will do all your two dimensional design on the right side so this is where you will create your fabric uh, and then in the 3d simulation you can look at what you have created and place it on the avatar Okay, so first things first, we need to bring in an avatar. So if I, if you go to file, open, avatar, and there is Hana, which is a default stylized character that may appear actually with a cloth. So you can just close that and open a new program. So you just have to uh, know a new project. So just say file new. Okay, and then go to file, open, avatar. And if you go back, there is a female, Fifi and a male Henry and a stylized Hana. So I'm going to use stylized Hana and then she will pop in the scene. Uh, and now we need to put some clothes on her. And this is where we will create our garment and then this is where it will be simulated. So uh, real quickly, we're going to go over uh, the basic tools required. Uh, so again, uh, I have set this up initially uh, using the 3ds Max uh, options. So whatever the uh, options in 3ds Max are, they will work here. So right click and drag around, middle mouse is pan, middle mouse zoom. Okay. Uh, and here I'm going to click on the polygon tool and I'm going to create the front part of the garment right so I have like a v-neck and then a sleeveless strap here and this is the arm opening here so I'll go to here and then this is going to be the waist area and then here I'm going to have some short and long skirt here okay so one two three so I will have to go one two three here also and then if you go here, you will get the purple line in the middle. So you can align your uh, horizontal marker here. And then again, you'll go and align this one here and then align these two and then finish it off at the beginning. Okay, so you can see that this is the garment that you created. If you click here, you can then select and move it around. 
and again here uh, you can see that I have a gizmo and in your case the gizmo would be moving when I move the when you move around the scene so if you go to preferences gizmo and I have put it on the world coordinates so if it is on the screen coordinates it moves as you move the screen but I prefer it to be on the world coordinates all right uh, so once that the front side is done, uh, I need to make sure that there's enough space on top, otherwise it will go through. So what you can do is you can click on this option and then you can select these and I can use the up arrow key on the keyboard and move it up. Okay, you can see that this is 29, this is 20. Um, this, this doesn't have to be very precise. Uh, it can be plus minus. Uh, and in real life also the tailors they are going to cut these pieces and they are not going to accurate so a little bit of mismatch is actually good all right having said that uh, what we need to create is other side so you can either control c control v to create a copy or you can right click and you can say symmetric pattern and place it on the side okay and then another pattern will be created uh, you can right click and say flip horizontally so it will be flipped and then we can move it on top here and then we can simply move it back okay and these have to be placed close to the body make sure it doesn't go through the body but it's close enough all right so I think that looks pretty good for both of these and now we need to stitch these all right so these are the two stitching tools uh, the first one will stitch uh, one segment at a time okay and then you can either stitch it here so you can see that this and this can be stitched so let us focus on these two and then you can click here and then click here and then you should get straight lines you should not get cross lines okay if it is cross lines you can undo it and try to do it again so if you click here and then click here see i got the cross seams so i will undo it and then you can see that it is this side and on the right opposite side so again you can click on this side and on the opposite side here and then you get straight lines let us try this other tool here and i can click here and then just go through and I want to stitch these two at the same time so I'll click and I will stitch it here uh, let's see okay so this looks good there's no issue in the stitching there no crisscrossing so I can do the same thing here so click here and then from here to here okay and that's about it uh, if you hit the simulation button here or the space bar, the dress will fall in place. Okay. Now, if you want to make any changes, uh, you can now simply uh, click and drag this dress around. Okay. If you want to try and fit the dress. Okay. If you want this to be around. Up. All right. So that can be done. Uh, if you click on the garment here, you can see the wireframe mode, and you can see that these this garment is made up of triangles. So if you come here, you can turn on um, maybe I need to turn the simulation off, then select the garment. and turn remesh on and now you get quads okay so we need quads all right so that looks good then you can come here and then you can see that it is shaded and on the color mode and if you click on the fabric here you can change the color of the fabric so I had used uh, red color 
and then the fabric type can be changed because I'm using the trial version. I have limited options, but I use the velvet option here. Okay, so now if you hit the space bar to simulate, uh, we can make a few changes here to the fabric. If you click on it, uh, the particle distance, which is 20 by default, if it is smaller in number, you will have more particles and the simulation will look better, but it will be heavier on your system. So you have to be careful with that. Uh, you can just uh, uh, simulate it at a lower number, higher number I mean, uh, and then later on you can, before exporting, you can work with a higher number. So let us see if you have can. Okay. You have to stop the simulation and start it again. And that that's what happens when the number is 10. Okay, so it will uh, simulate the cloth a little better. Uh, if you want the skirt, uh, if you want more material for your fabric or less material, you can shrink it, say for example, 70 and it will become short. And then if you want it, uh, shrinkage on the side yeah if you want it bigger okay so more cloth that seems like too short so that looks good maybe 90 okay uh, the other tool I wanted to show you is you can now again make changes to your dress so for example if you want thing if, if you're not happy with this thing hanging out so much you can drag it inside and you can see that because we had symmetry on and now because I have the 10 number it is taking longer time to process so you can make it shorter and then simulate it again I'm going to make it 20 just so things move faster Okay, and then uh, if you click here and then go into edit curve, you can add curves to here. So if you want more garment by adding the curve, okay, you just have to re-simulate it. Okay, you can add more fabric by making this round and then simulate it. Okay. So you get a uh, different look uh, to the garment. All right. So this is up to you to how you want to design it. Uh, the other thing is uh, pressure. Uh, pressure is generally used for enclosed objects. If you add like a pressure to it, you can see that it swells up. So if you want like a ballerina dress, you can do that. But right now for this, you don't need. Uh, for wind, if you go to display, environment, show wind controller, and then there is a wind controller here, and then the wind controller has direction of wind, and you can turn it on, and then you can see that there's wind. So I will reduce the turbulence, so the wind, it, less turbulent the wind and the frequency will make the wind go in many directions okay so you can play these numbers to simulate wind and that's about it uh, uh, one more thing before we end if you go into animation uh, you if you want to export uh, your character with animation uh, then uh, you can record uh, now it's going to take some time for the soft, uh, my computer to process the information and the simulation to start. Okay, so you can see the simulation has started and then you can record the simulation. Now it's recording and you can stop the recording. Say you want 240 odd frames. Then you can stop the simulation and then 
the simulation will get recorded okay and then you can export this uh, with the simulation and use it in another 3d program like blender or maya or max so we will be looking that in future classes so for this class i just wanted to cover the basics and get a dress and win simulation coin right so that's about it. Thank you very much for watching and keep tuned for more tutorials on how to use Marvelous to create some amazing animations and simulations. Bye bye.